Our correspondents are covering every angle of this historic debate. But we're, we will begin with Sarah Murray in the spin room here on the Hofstra University campus. Sarah, how did Mr. Trump spend the day? Well, Jake, even though Donald Trump's campaign has tried to play this expectations game, they've tried to highlight the amount of debate prep Hillary Clinton's been doing and sort of downplay the way Trump is doing his, he did sneak in another last-minute debate prep session today. Reince Priebus, the RNC chairman, was with him for that. And other people that he's had around for these are really folks that he sees as peers, people like Chris Christie, people like Rudy Giuliani, people who don't, who don't just have experience in the political arena but also have have policy experience and can help Donald Trump on the substance of this as well as the tone. And he really comes into tonight with two key challenges. One of them is to show that he can talk about complicated issues beyond the generalities, that he can dive into details, into policy specifics, into his policy prescriptions on a lot of these questions. But of course, the other is the temperament issue. We have seen a lot of voters who are turned off by Hillary Clinton, but they're also turned off by Donald Trump. That's particularly important in the suburbs. It's it's particularly important with female voters and so we're going to be looking to see whether we do see a more gracious Donald Trump on stage whether we see someone who wants to appear presidential and will debate Hillary Clinton on facts uh, on sort of her uh, her record rather than some of those below the belt references you mentioned earlier Jake all right Sarah Murray let's go now to Jeff Zeleny he's been covering the Clinton campaign and Jeff what are you learning about how uh, Secretary Clinton is spending these last few hours well, Jake, Secretary Clinton uh, has driven here to Long Island from her home in Chappaqua after really going through several mock debate sessions. She has made no apologies for the fact that she is indeed preparing for this debate in an old-fashioned setting. For the past several evenings, at the exact appointed hour of the debate, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, she has stood on a mock stage in a hotel near her home, and they have gone through this debate. She is doing it with a, a stand-in for Donald Trump, a stand-in for the moderator, and a small group of... Of advisors but Jake this afternoon she is resting she is reading and she is getting ready for what is surely the biggest night of her campaign here yes we've seen her on, on the debate stage so many times about 38 or 39 by my count going all the way back to 2000 but this is a different moment entirely she realizes that her campaign realizes that particularly given the polls in Colorado, in Pennsylvania, our new battleground polls there, as well as nationally. So what she is going to try and do, I'm told, Jake, is make her case, is make her argument for why voters should be more liking her. Donald Trump is already, um, you know, somewhat uh, a known factor in this, and her opposition to him is known, but she's going to be making a positive case for herself, as well as fact-checking when she can. I'm told by her advisor she does not want to be, uh, they do not want her to be the uh, constant fact-checker throughout the course of the whole evening, but she surely will on some cases, and taking Donald Trump's words to him, if he shows up as a more disciplined candidate tonight, I'm told, she will remind voters, remind that big audience of some of the things he has said throughout the course of this long campaign. Jake?